everyone, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. So today I'm jumping right into my meal prep and I am going to be prepping three different things. I'm going to be pulling together my breakfast, my lunch, and my snack for the week. Now, what you can see in front of you are my ingredients for my French toast. And it's not really my French toast. It's actually Hungry Girl's French toast with a little bit of a little variation that I've found over the years of making this that I really like it this way, uh, just a little bit better. So we're gonna jump right in and start this recipe. So in my container, I have five eggs. You can also use egg beaters and cut down on some of the points on this. And the bread that I'm gonna be using today is Aunt Millie's. 40 calorie bread. <laughs> Sorry for the noise, the cat has found a box. So now he's jumping in and out of the box back there. I'm gonna pause here and move that box. All right, it's always an adventure when you have a curious cat. Um, all right, so I've washed my hands and I'm jumping back in. So I have five eggs in my bowl there. So the next thing that I'm going to add to that bowl is one packet of sweetener. You can use any type of sweetener that you have. I'm going to do a splash of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. It calls for one teaspoon of cinnamon, and I always seem to overestimate that, so I will measure this one. And of course, like always, I will have a link to the original recipe down below so that you can make this one for yourself, because I'm telling you right now, this one is really, really good. And then it calls for a half teaspoon of vanilla, and I'm gonna just eyeball that one. That looks pretty good and set that off to the side. So we're just gonna go ahead and give this a quick stir. It's always fun when you're trying to mix up cinnamon in a cold batter. It always takes a little while longer to get that to incorporate. So I'm gonna stir this for a second and I'll be back as soon as I get that stirred up so that you don't have to sit here and watch me stir. All right, so there we go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip my griddle on. I'm gonna grab some pan cooking spray, and I think it's actually um, Target brand. Yes, Target brand, this is the one I'm using today. So once that starts to heat up a little bit, I'm gonna spray it so I will come back as soon as my griddle heats up, and we're gonna go ahead and make our French toast. And I'm so excited because I always forget about this recipe, and it's one of my favorites. I love French toast. So for me, I am on purple. It is going to be one slice per piece of French toast. So I can have two slices for two points, plus whatever the syrup is. And I always use a sugar-free syrup, so sometimes I don't even use enough to count a point for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and wait for that griddle to heat up, and then I'll be back. Okay, our griddle is nice and hot. I'm just gonna go ahead and spray it with some cooking spray, and we'll go ahead and get this party started. This is where the magic begins. So I'm hoping that I can get at least six slices of French toast. That's my goal. And if I can get six, then that'll give me three breakfast. If I get more than six, that'll give me four breakfast. Or a fun little snack to eat while I'm meal prepping. One of the two. So far, so good. And I, you, and you really don't have to like soak them in there, you know, a whole lot because it will soak up and give you enough egg mixture to to make it French toast just by kind of quickly doing it there. It just kind of makes it a little, a little bit of a faster thing. Ooh, I might get seven. So you know what that means? It's going to be a snack. I doubt I'll get eight. Do number seven and see where that gets us. Oh, maybe. I'm gonna attempt it. What do you guys think? Think I'll do it? I don't know. It's gonna be a little light one. But I, oh, oh man, I don't think it's gonna work. We're gonna. We're just gonna fake it. Take it to you, make it right. All right, so that gives us eight. 
it looks like all the cinnamon is on this one. That's funny. All right, so I am going to do a little trick here. And I have some cinnamon and, and stevia that I mixed up here. So I think I'm just going to go ahead just for color wise and just sprinkle a little bit on each. Is that going to change my color? I don't know. We're just going to try it on four of them, especially this one down here that kind of got short changed. All right, we're going to do that and see how that works out. It's always, like I said, it's always an adventure in cooking when you're in the kitchen with Kim. All right, let's see this first one. All right, it's going to take another minute, so we're just going to go ahead and let those go. And then when I'm ready to flip it, I will come back. I'm also going to turn the heat up a little bit on that to see if that helps. Okay, I've checked them and they look pretty good, so I'm just going to go ahead and start flipping. Got a nice little brown coating on it there. <laughs> I never flip things perfectly. If you've ever watched me flip anything, I am the worst flipper ever. <laughs> All right, I'm going to just stop embarrassing myself. I'm going to flip the rest of these and then I'll come back. Okay, I'm going to bring you a little closer. Look. How amazing do those look? So good. My whole kitchen smells like cinnamon and vanilla. Oh, these are going to be delicious. Um, again, they really need to invent smell o vision because woo, they smell delicious. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and let these finish browning up, and then I'm going to go over and get my lunch started. So I'm going to take you over to my stove, and let's see what I've got up my sleeve there. Um, if you watched my my weekly update on Saturday, you'll know that I was kind of tossing between soup or I was thinking that I was going to, just double checking these, um, or I was going to do pineapple chicken fried rice and I did decide on the fried rice because it just sounded delicious. So. I'm going to go ahead and flip these over one more time just to kind of make sure that I've got them nice and golden brown. And then I'm going to pull these off and let them start to cool so that I can package them up. Don't those look amazing? Look, now, now I'm flipping like a master <laughs> when it doesn't count and they're not sticking. Oops, almost lost one. All right, let's get to the stove and see what's next. All right, next up, I'm gonna go ahead and quickly throw together my chicken pineapple fried rice. And this is one of my favorite, um, one of my favorite meals. I just, I totally cannot get enough of this one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn the heat on on my pan. I'm gonna spray it with some cooking spray to make sure we don't get anything to stick there. And then we're gonna to start to layer in the ingredients. So this one is gonna go super quick and I had already made some rice in my rice cooker, so I already have my rice ready to go. So that's always a time saver, and I do have brown rice. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw some minced garlic into my pan and get that to saute up a little bit, just to kind of get some of that raw garlic flavor out of, you know, out of the garlic, I guess is what I'm trying to say. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and spread that around and let that start to do its thing. In the meantime, let's talk about ingredients. We're gonna need approximately three cups of vegetables, eight ounces of chicken, and I already have some leftover chicken that I pulled out of my freezer and just thawed, so I've got that ready to go. I need two cups of rice, two eggs, which you can see back here, one teaspoon of garlic, one and a half teaspoons of sesame oil. This is the one that I'm using today. We're gonna need some soy sauce, and I go back and forth with the amount that I use on this. So today I'm gonna be using just shy, probably about a fourth of a cup. And then a half cup of pineapple, and you can choose any brand of pineapple that you want as long as it's in its own juice and you drain the juice. So this is the one I'm using today. I have no idea, I might have picked this up at Aldi's. I have no idea where I even bought that. But I tried one, it's really good. And here's your tip of the day. If you like pineapple and you're only gonna use partial can of whatever you're using, 
put them in the fridge and throw them in your ice water. And when you have pineapple in your ice water, trust me, you're gonna be thrilled because your ice water is gonna taste amazing. And it's gonna help you get that water down as well. All right, so we've got that in there. I'm gonna go ahead and dump in my frozen peas and carrots. And I'm trying to be quiet here. When I make my fried rice, I just kind of pick whatever vegetables that I want. Sometimes I just use the mixed vegetables that has the corn and the green beans. Um, this was on sale, so I went ahead and picked up the peas and carrots this week. And I always like to add in extra vegetables because you can't go wrong with extra vegetables. So since those are frozen, I'm just going to throw those in and go ahead and start the thawing process on those. So once that starts to thaw out a little bit, we're going to come back and I'll start throwing you know, together some more ingredients in here. And then we will wrap this one up quickly. So like I said, it's going to come together quick, especially if you can start to use some leftovers. If you're making rice, make a little extra and you can even freeze that rice and you can have, you know, have something like this and have the ingredients on hand for it. So again, it's a nice way to use up leftovers. And if you want to cut down on points or if you're not on purple, you can also do this with cauliflower rice, or you can do half cauliflower rice and half regular rice, whether it's, you know, whether you choose the brown or the white, it's up to you. But you could also do that, and that really helps to cut down on the points. I do some that I do that sometimes as well, too. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this to thaw out, and then I'll be back. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I'm just gonna bring you in a little bit closer, and we're gonna go ahead and get our eggs done. And I always forget to do this part, so I'm going to try to remember to do this while I can kind of push my peas and carrots off to the side. So I'm going to go ahead and give my pan just another little quick hit with that cooking spray so that my eggs don't stick. I'm just going to give them a quick little, little beat here, and we're going to go ahead and scramble those up. And if you ever go to get fried rice, Nine times out of ten, or I'm going to say ten times out of ten, there is scrambled egg in your fried rice. Um, also, if you like go to Benihana or, you know, some other place, they're always putting eggs, you know, in, in dishes as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get this scrambled up real quick. And then I'll incorporate that right into our veggies, and then we're going to layer the rest of this stuff up real quick. Oh, I'm so excited. I have not had this in a while, and again, it's one of my favorites. I just don't think about making it. I've been trying to try out new stuff lately, but I think that I just need to kind of keep it keep it simple, try out some new dinners, but some of my lunches, sometimes I just need to go back to some of my go-tos and enjoy those. All right, those are almost done. I'm sure those will finish cooking as I start to incorporate them in there. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to throw our rice in. All oh, those colors are so pretty. All right, let's get our rice thrown in there. Grab a measuring cup because, of course, in Kim fashion, I did not do that. I'm going to pop two cups of brown rice in here. So that's one. And you know what? I think I'm going to add a little extra. But just know that in the original recipe that I have, this serves four. And you're supposed to use two cups of rice. But again, I'm just going to go ahead and make a larger batch. Because I might have this for dinner one day. All right, so we've got that in there. The next thing we're gonna add in is our sesame oil. And here's another look at that. One and a half teaspoons. And you have to watch it because this is where you get your points from. The sesame oil is a little higher in points. I don't have it. I should scan that. I'll try to remember to scan that for you and put, put the points in, in the comments here so you can see what the points are for that. because again, they are a little bit higher for the sesame oil. All right, so we've got that in there. I'm just gonna go ahead and give that a stir. 
Next thing I'm going to add in is my soy sauce. And if you have a problem with sodium, please be careful with the soy sauce because it is super salty, even though I have the low sodium. It will, um, <laughs> don't eat this the day before weigh in. Let's just say that. All right, so we've got that in there. So the top on that, we're gonna throw in our chicken. And again, great way to use up some leftover chicken, but if you have ground chicken, you can use ground chicken with it. You could also use leftover just chicken, baked chicken, or you could even buy like the frozen pre-cooked chicken and put that in there. All right. So that's in there. And I think the last thing that we have to put in here is our pineapple. I'm gonna double check my ingredients real quick. We have the veggies, we have the chicken, we have the rice, we put our eggs in, garlic, sesame oil, soy sauce, yep, and we just have to put our pineapple in. Doesn't that look absolutely amazing? I mean, it's so good. It smells delicious. All right, I'm just gonna, oops, I got some juice coming out. We don't want that. We definitely don't want the points for that juice. We're just gonna pull some out of the can and get some chicken in there. Maybe I should grab a fork. Again, I want to be able to use this for my water later, so I definitely don't want to have bits of chicken in there. All right. About that much left in the can, so that ought to be a good, a good representation there. And we're just going to stir that in there and heat that through. And then we will call this dish done. <laughs> Who else is excited but me? Um, for my lunches this week because oh man I am stoked all right so let's jump over let's get my snack done and we will wrap up today's meal prep all right so my snack this week is inspired by a quick snack that I had last week I was getting ready to attend a meeting and I just needed to grab something really quick so I grabbed some uh, PB fit and an apple and it was absolutely delicious so I'm gonna go ahead and pre-measure my PB Fit out into my bowls here. And then when it's the day of, I'm just gonna go ahead and mix it with water. But I will show you with one today on how to mix that up with water so that you can see how easy that pulls together if you haven't used this before. I am gonna scan the PB Fit because I know that the PB2 used to be less points than the PB Fit. So I just picked this one up. I just opened up the jar, so I'll scan that. I'll put the points here. So that you can see how many points my snack is going to be. Um, it's either going to be one or two points, but again, I'll put it at the bottom so you'll, you'll probably already have seen it and I'm just rambling now. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, I really like this and I think that a tablespoon of regular peanut butter is like super high in points. So this is a nice alternative if you want to use that. So I'm going to put two tablespoons in each of my containers. Just gonna make sure I round those off so that I don't get crazy. And of course, I can't find my other containers, so we're just gonna have one oddball one in our meal prep this week. All right, two more over here. Any other time, I could dip this in and it would just come right out and it would be fine. And again, if you wanna be super accurate, please, by all means, grab your scale out and measure your, your 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 peanut butter out so that you have it you know absolutely perfect again i'm not going to fret about it at this point all right so i'm going to go ahead and we're going to use this one and what i'm going to do is i have some water here and i always like to mix mine with a knife because then i can kind of like i don't know the consistency is a little bit different but we're just gonna we're gonna measure this one. Usually, I just do it under the sink. So I'm gonna put two 
tablespoons of water in with the two tablespoons. And we're gonna go ahead and mix that up. And it's almost perfect. So hopefully you can see that really good. And it's all set. Um, I got a little, little here, Let's stir that in. But um, that's it. And then you just slice up your apple and have it. But I can grab a knife and my apple and a plate and my peanut butter, and I can just grab that and have that during my meetings and not even have to take the time to cut up my apple. I can just cut it up as I eat it. So that really does help. All right, so that's it for my meal prep this week. Uh, I'm super duper excited about all my choices. My rice is still cooling on the stove. You can see my French toast back here cooling and my peanut butter will be ready to go for the week. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video. I wanna thank you for watching. Thanks for coming along with me again on another weekly meal prep. Don't forget to leave me some comments below. Give me a thumbs up for my video and my channel and we will see you next time.